Morning, everybody. Oh, it's six o'clock, oh, and it's not starting to get light. How does the floor get dirty when you're wearing socks? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So I, uh, I read some everyone's comments yesterday, well last night on the the video uploaded yesterday which will be two videos ago for you and uh, I completely agree I've had to I'm just joke I've not I've not really looked at it yet <laughs> I'm doing my laces I'm not being weird well I am I'm, I'm just weird anyway but you know, I'm still doing my laces just gonna go out and do my daily check so I parked in lay in this lay by last night I'm going to have to pull the truck out so I can get down that side because I don't fancy standing in the mud if I'm honest. So I'm going to go and get that done and uh, do the day of the check and we're going to get gone to um, pick up some crisps. If I go, can your belly touch your bum? Can your boobs hang low? Can you tie them in a bow? It's cold out there. Anyway, can you see in the reflection of the window? <sighs> Shall we bugger off? Alright, let's go. Turn that nice heating off. Turn the lights down low. Headlights on. That's <sighs> pretty. I didn't say anything. After 500 yards, take the exit. A little bit slippy, slippy on this road. Turn right. Temperatures. Uh, well, it's, it'll lie because I've had the night heater on. Don't know where the outside temperature is. Uh, my uh, my screen washer decides to not wash wipe anymore. I think the line has popped off, so I'm, ooh, that's gonna stick it out. So I'm just gonna uh, pull it here, past the Renault and the daft caps. And uh, have a quick look. Right, I think I've un I think I've unfrozen it. <sighs> it's 
crack on. Just come off the M6. A couple of minutes away from the uh, the collection. Um, oh, it's going to, yeah. I'll, so I'll uh, I'll do the collection. I'll pull up outside. I'll make a no. Actually, I won't. I will. Uh, I'll do the collection. I'll make a coffee before I leave, and they've got a hot water in there you can use. So uh, saves me boiling the kettle. Right, so this is going on B number 12, and I'm picking up one off B19. Oh, Echo 19, which is on the left somewhere, I think. 38. So it's going on that one there on the right, and I'm picking up. Uh, the one to my left. Right, high vis on, open the back doors. Loading up in a truck in, we're gonna do what they say can be done. Ah, oh, you're at an angle, that you're all deflated. Oh, right, back at the yard. Oh, wheel spin. 
Back at the yard, look at the state of this here where them DPD vans been parking. What's going on here then? What have you done? I'm all right. Just a fire alarm. I think the yard shunt is shunting the yard at the moment. Have you seen 320? Have you seen 320? Wait, have you seen 320? Might be that one there, down this side. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it. No, it's got it's got walkers on it going out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was alright the other day, wasn't it? Again now. Oh, there's 320 there. <laughs> Alright, so he's doing some brake testing on some of the trailers, which is just there on the right hand side, new piece of equipment. It's done in house now, so they take it out. I think he saves the company a bit of a few pennies. I'm just gonna go round the block so uh, he can get that one out because he'll go he'll wanna go where my trailer was. Uh, I'm going to wait here now, see where he puts that. Alright, he's pulled that one out of there now, so I can uh, throw this one down there. <laughs> so I've got to put it at a jaunty angle because... <laughs> gonna, it'll be straight on the back road, but it won't be straight to the side ones because these, these ones are getting straightened up shortly. So I'm going to squeeze between the trail on my left and the one behind this one. So we're going at a slight angle. Bloody hell, this, this one is, who has parked these two here? Ridiculous. This on this headboard here, straighten her up. I think, I think we're good. I have to drop the, the cab will be at an angle when I drop it, but the trail will be straight, so that's the main thing. That's gonna have to be. See, so we're straight on that side there. A little bit straight on that side. This is getting moved, that one's getting moved, these two are getting moved. I've just got this out the back. It's a bit soggy. Doesn't have an address on it though. So it looks like I can return. A re Hello. Looks like I'm returning uh, plastic containers 
you know the stuff that like, kind of like comes up like fruit and veg for like Tesco's or Morrison's or whatever that kind of stuff it's come from uh, Dublin it's going to Peterborough and it's called buckets empty buckets it's not actually buckets it's like trays really but anyway I'm gonna let that dry out a bit just leave it there on the dashboard uh, have we got the address on here that it's going to? I do need to change the trailer height. Um, and it's just going on to the brake test. So they test the brake, trailer brakes all the time, make sure everything's all up to standard. And uh, if it needs, it goes off and gets done. Skippy. About Skippy's way. He's just spot me waiting, and he's, he said he's going to drive it around the around the yard again. Oh, I'm going to be. Yeah, he's done. He's done. That was quick. That was quite quick. That. ideal time of day to be going down the M6 well actually it is the ideal time of day because normally it's quiet this time but today it's busy uh, speed restrictions in place because of the uh, fog I mean you can see perfectly fine mostly the gear pack was resting between them one pack it was a lousy haul we took fire through the shell and lost a panel, and that was before we hit the ground at 400 kph. I can't count how many times we rolled. I felt like a friggin' hamster stuck in a wheel. Everything got bent out of shape or spilled out when the module tore open. How many MREs? 20. There was motion in the trees to their left. Zed's zombie shifted on its hips, the torso moving to aim the belly gun. I think we're here-ish. So you can sit and look at traffic with me. No, 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 all right, no. Go left on the right, now we're here. Take the first exit, then you have reached your destination. First time I came here, I went straight on. Don't know why. Oh, I know why. Sat up says go straight on. So it starts, this, this is a Tesco depot here, but it's not the Tesco depot, it's the, it's the return side of it. After 200 yards, turn left. Well, it appears there's quite a few wagons waiting to get in. Like it took it took 20 minutes to get in here. <coughs> All the little Tesco ones are either dropping or collecting. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, just blocked the yard, completely blocked the yard up. Uh, didn't don't care about anyone else getting in. Uh, there's a DS Smith wagon there. He was already in and shuffling trailers around and then he, he was beeping at him to get out of his way and I thought he was waiting for, I don't know, something specific. No, no. Anyway, turns out the warehouse is full. We've got nowhere to put the goods. So, um, I'm waiting for a phone call back. The options are, try tomorrow morning, but I've got a collection from Doncaster in the morning. Uh, apparently, uh, try in the morning and see if they'll accept it in the morning, see if there's any room on the overnight, but the warehouse is full, it's full in it, I don't know where they're going to put them, I mean I suppose they wash them in the, I think that's what they do here, they take the returns and the packaging and stuff like that, uh, the packaging gets sorted and collected, well, I'm guessing that's where the DS Smiths are, because that's what they do, packaging, uh, and the plastics I think get washed sanitized and then sent to Tesco next door um, so unless it's lost unless it's like a lot of stuff going out of this warehouse into theirs I don't I don't know uh, the other option is drop the trail off leave it and get someone else to collect it another day but um, 
who knows, I've rang the office and I've asked them what do want me to do, so we're we'll just going to wait for them uh, to, to let me know now. Uh, the poor guy in here is like, he just put his head in his hands, he's just like, oh, why did they do this to me? <laughs> um, he said, uh, the where they come from in Dublin, he says, normally they get one a week, and he said, uh, they had one today, one yesterday, and then I've turned up as well. He's, so maybe they've been storing them, uh, prioritising Christmas, and now it's calmed down a bit, or whatever. Maybe the tariffs are cheaper after Christmas. I don't know. Well, anyway, yeah, that's what we're up to. Right. So I can't remember if I've already mentioned this. This place is full. Uh, so they can't take it. Um, my office is still waiting for instructions back from the company so I'm still sat here two hours two and a half hours later uh, absolutely totally bored time now is 5.30 and I'm going parking up I'm not sitting here any longer I want to get some food in me I want to chill out I don't want to end my shift for today um, I don't want to be I, want, I don't want to be doing an uh, a 15 hour shift today so I've already got tomorrow's work through which is picking up in Doncaster going to Livingston I've got to be pick up at Doncaster for 7am that's obviously not going to happen so I'm going to go and find somewhere to park up now for the night and I'm going to come back here at 6 in the morning and I'll see if they can accept it then if the car accepts it then, then it's out of my truck control completely. So, yeah, here's what it is. So, yeah, I'm just going to go on there and find somewhere to park up. After 400 yards, turn left, Stanley Way, then, at the end of the road, turn left. I've already found somewhere. <laughs> there is this space right outside here, but I don't, I don't fancy it. I've, uh, it it kind of smells down here. <laughs> it's not surprising really. They are washing out these these. This is what I've got on, on the left. These plastic things. So these are getting washed out. So I'm not surprised it's a bit of a smell. To be honest, you know, it's it's a hygiene place, isn't it? It's just one of them things. Um, normally they put you on Bay 16. I think it's this one here on the right. Uh, yeah, Bay 16. No one's on it, but uh, oh yeah, there is. No, there isn't. There's no one on it, but there's no space apparently. I've just looked through the warehouse door there, and it did look packed. So I believe them when they say there's no room for it. I mean, it's packed out here. It's not normally this this full out here. So after 100 yards, turn left, Stapley Way, then. At the end of the road, turn very slippery. Temperature is it? Four degrees? That's got to, got to be colder than that. Road, turn right. Turn right. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. <laughs> just part the part is in the turnaround spot. I don't think there's going to be any space down here. I just saw it in the map before. That turn looks alright. Right. Royce Road. Then, you have reached your destination. Man, there should be trucks down here already. What was that about? Oh, now I have to wait because there's another car coming. Amazing. No HTV parking at any time, yeah, well, whatever. They're open a bit late, aren't they?
I just spoke to him, business owner or manager, whatever, I don't know. But I just said, I'm parking here for the night. He said, all right, what time is anyone in in the morning? He said, there's no one in in the morning. You can park here, you're okay. Keep my off my keep keep your eyes off my yum yums. Right, uh, time is it? Well, I'm gonna give work till six o'clock. After six o'clock, I ain't even answering the phone to them because that's me. I'm hanging on now to see what they say, and. Uh, no, no reply. So, uh, we'll see what they say, and then, uh, then I'm, I'll go to sleep. Well, I'll chill out. So, so if we don't see you in the morning, I'll see you in the next video.